Okay, so recently I've been filming loads of travel vlogs and today I just wanted to sit down on a sofa, very comfortable sofa indeed, and just kind of talk to you about the superfoods. So as you guys know, I'm massively into my health and fitness and health and fitness is basically my favourite topic to talk about. I'm not an expert, I'm not trained in it, it's just something I've always really liked. If you read my blog, you'll know that I believe in the 80-20 rule, that is 80% of eating well and 20% of kind of eating what you want to eat. Obviously don't binge, don't go too crazy, but I find personally for me it works because then I'm not depriving myself. So today I really wanted to do a video. I was actually inspired by something really incredible that I got sent through to me on email this week and it made me be like, okay, I'm going to film a video about uncommon superfoods. So not even uncommon, more just like superfoods that aren't spoken about as much. So these are kind of the things that I found out about which are apparently really good for you, but they're not the standard superfoods. So Let's start with the superfoods that everyone knows about. Okay, chia seeds, everyone knows water, everyone knows. These are things that everyone kind of talks about, kale, spinach. So today I just wanted to tell you about a few other things. If you are interested in the kind of standard superfoods, I'll leave a link below. But for now, let's talk about some new kind of different superfoods. We are in the run up to summer and that means it's time to get kind of back on the hype. And I know that I want to feel fit and healthy for summer. So here are some new superfoods that I've kind of been looking at and discovered. So number one, to a lot of people, this might not be an uncommon superfood, but many people actually don't know this is a superfood and they're shocked when I tell them, dark chocolate. That doesn't mean dark chocolate crammed with like loads of random additives and stuff. That means 80 to 90% raw, so it's kind of actually the actual plant rather than loads of additives and sugar. And my housemate swears by this and he is obsessed with health and fitness, but I tend to eat lint 90%. So that's one that I like to have and it's brimming with antioxidants. And obviously like one piece a day is actually apparently really good for you. So that's always a positive. Number two, this is probably my favorite one yet. Sangria. Don't be shocked. I was shocked when I read this this morning and this is kind of what inspired me to do this video actually. I was like, what? Sangria is a superfood? Is it? Really? So there's been seven years of research and apparently the University of South Midlands have found that sangria can help boost your immune system, boost your energy levels because it's full of vitamin C and lots of other things. Apparently, according to their research, the main ingredient is resveratrol. It's found in red wine and it can increase cardiovascular performance, it can reduce inflammation and that kind of stuff. And I got a press release this morning which was basically saying that actually they've done studies on people, a thousand people, and sangria apparently helps them live longer. So they basically found that sangria increases your energy levels by 20%, 10% greater life expectancy, and a 30% increase in serotonin levels, which is pretty crazy. I go to Spain a lot, and sangria is definitely one of my favorite drinks, and I actually feel quite good when I'm drinking it. It's like fresh fruit in the sunshine. So um, if this is true, then this is probably the best news ever. Apparently people who drink sangria on a regular basis live longer, so we'll see about that one, and I think I might have the recommended three glasses per week now. Number three, red pepper. I actually always try to put red peppers in everything I do, but I didn't really know they were kind of a superfood as such. But I have heard that kind of red vegetables are good for boosting the immune system, and that's apparently what red pepper does. So I'll definitely be throwing more of that into everything. Actually, that brings me on to chili. Chili is something that I literally put into everything I eat. Technically, it's probably not a superfood, but it does boost your metabolism. I literally put my chili flakes and chili powder, chili oil, chili on everything. And if you are looking to boost your metabolism, I also drink blue matcha tea. That's like another really good kind of superfood powder, which I'm obsessed with. Again, not many people seem to know about matcha. It's kind of a, it's growing in popularity, but it's like super strong, much better than green tea. Again, I'll leave a link to like all of my blog posts about this stuff below so you can read more about it. Another one, everyone's kind of told, you know, eat pumpkin seeds, they're good for you. But when I was doing some research, I found that pumpkin is actually really good for you. So I'm definitely not gonna turn down pumpkin soup from now on. Apparently one cup of fresh pumpkin is filled with so many vitamins. And then last but not least, something which I eat pretty much every day is honey. But I actually spoke to my housemate the other day and I was saying to him, so which honey should you have? Should you have squeezy honey or should you have the kind of hard honey? And he was saying you should always have raw organic honey. And I did quite a lot of research on this and actually raw organic honey is so good for you. It's kind of like the unsung hero. It's like a natural sweetener. It's just really good for you. Also, bee pollen. Bee pollen is full in antioxidants. It's basically all of these superfoods kind of full in antioxidants. They help to make you have more energy and stuff. And bee pollen, 
is something that I need to find because it's meant it's kind of like a hero pollen um, but for now I'll continue putting my honey all over my oats every morning as I do I hope you liked this just a quick and easy video something kind of to differ from my recent travel vlogs um, and I just wanted to basically talk to you about some new superfoods which I mean you should try I'm gonna try thank you for watching goodbye